what are the advantages and disadvantages of having a pet? Okay, well, I mean, I, I can talk from experience of uh, being a dog owner. So I think the, the advantages, um, I think something to take care of and something to love. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think a lot of people do have attachment to their pets. They don't just see them as animals. They, they often see them as family members, particularly dogs and cats. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying you can't with other animals, but um, I'm quite fond of tarantulas, but I can't imagine having an emotional attachment to one, <laughs> you know, <laughs> even if I had it as a pet, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I think that that kind of, and their presence, I mean, um, I guess it depends on the type of dog or cat you have, but there's something very, for me, very reassuring about having the dog around, something very comforting, and they're incredibly affectionate. They can also be a lot of fun, because obviously you, you can play with the pets, and they all, they mm-hmm. all have a character. Um, disadvantages, I mean, um, obviously if you have a dog or a cat, you, you can't just decide, oh, we're going to go away for the weekend. Mm-hmm. I mean, with a cat, you've got a little bit more flexibility, because they could probably be okay on their own for a, a day or so. But, you know, you, you can't obviously... You, you can't leave your your dog really you know so um you have to take that into consideration so you have to have make a have make those kind of arrangements and um obviously it's cost you know i mean you, you'll be paying for their, their, their food will cost a certain amount per month um if they do get and health some. health bills and um you know our previous dog did get cancer and you know I, we ended up spending quite a bit of money on vet bills for the scans and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. and you know i mean you don't resent doing that because sure. you know, care about something you know you, you do what you can for you know for the animal but um but of course it was a big expense you know and also the disadvantages is that generally speaking they're not going to live anywhere near as long as you are so mm-hmm. for most most people who own dogs or cats there comes a point where they have to make that difficult decision and euthanize the animal when they become too sick or too old you know mm-hmm. most most of them don't die in their sleep peacefully most yeah. dogs and cats get, kind of get old and then they get sick and then they become their it gets to a point where their quality of life mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's better to you know to have them you know euthanized so and that, that obviously that's really really hard you know, because if you, you see them as a family member it's very actually quite most people quite emotionally sure um you mentioned the uh, the tarantula there yeah. so i'm going to jump to question three so do you have an ideal pet it could well be a dog but do you have an ideal pet and if you could have any pet or pets in the world what would you go for i would think um I kind of have the ideal pet already because I'm biased. I, I love greyhounds. I know as well as my partner. She loves greyhounds too. Because they are very, very calm, very, very quiet. And I like that. I don't like you know, big aggressive or loud dogs. What rules do you have for your pet? And um do you have any kind of advice? Okay, well I think whether you know your cat or dog is allowed on the bed, um that's going to come down to personal preference. Our dog is allowed on our bed, you know, because we live in a small flat. And uh, I think if you, if you live in a small space, you should allow the pet to have some freedom, you know, not restrict mm-hmm. them too much as to where they can and can't go. You know, it's a little bit unfair. Um, I think one thing that you do need is you have to have consistency, mm-hmm. especially with dogs. I mean, I, I've been told it's the same thing with children, but I don't have a child, so I can't really, you know. But but you have to be consistent. If you sometimes are very, very lenient with giving the dog treats and this behavior, then other times not, you know, it it sends mixed messages and, and you'll never get the animal to kind of behave how you want in that situation. 